Good morning. Welcome to Story Time. I'm Tarnisha Evans, children's program developer here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. And because we are practicing social distancing, my friend Claudine is more than six feet away from me. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I took my mask off so you guys can hear me more clearly while I read the story. And I'll introduce myself one more time. I'm Tarnisha Evans, children's program developer here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. And today we are in an area called Dots Garden where we are located by some beautiful ponds and lots of water. And you want to know why? Because we are reading Pond Circle by Betsy Franco. Do you guys have a pond near your house? Do you have a pond near your local park? Or we're gonna read a story about a pond. It's ready? Pond Circle. Did I see some animals? Yeah, there's gonna be lots of animals in this story. And there's a girl. Her name is Anna. And you'll be hearing Anna's, you'll be hearing Anna's name a lot in the story. I wonder if we're gonna see Anna anymore in the story. I don't know. This is the water the deep still water that filled the pond by Anna's house. This is the algae, the jade green algae that grew in the water that filled the pond by whose house? Anna's house. This is the nymph the mayfly nymph that nibbled the algae that grew in the water that filled the pond by Anna's house. This is the beetle, the diving beetle that ate the nymph, there's the beetle, that ate the nymph that nibbled the algae that grew in the water that filled the pond by Anna's house. Oh, mm, what do you think ate the beetle? Something's gonna eat the beetle. Let's find out. <gasps> a frog! And I bet you we'll hear one before the day is over. This is the frog, the loud bullfrog that gobbled the beetle, that ate the nymph, that nibbled the algae, that grew in the water, that filled the pond by Anna's house. Mmm. What do you think is going to eat the frog? Would you like to find out? This is the snake. Oh, the snake. This is the snake. The garter snake that swallowed the frog, that gobbled the beetle, that ate the nymph, that nibbled the algae, that grew in the water, that filled the pond by... <gasps> Whose house? Anna's house. Where is Anna? You haven't seen Anna anymore. This is the skunk, the shy striped skunk that caught the snake, that swallowed the frog, that gobbled the beetle, that ate the nymph, that nibbled the algae, that grew in the water, that filled the pond by Anna's house. Ooh, look at this owl. This is the owl, the great horned owl that died for the skunk, that caught the snake, that swallowed the frog, that gobbled the beetle, that ate the nymph, that nibbled the algae, that grew in the water, that filled the pond by Anna's house. Mm. This is the raccoon, the hungry raccoon, that stole the eggs of the great horned owl, that died for the skunk, that caught the snake, that swallowed the frog, that gobbled the beetle, that ate the nymph, that nibbled the algae, that grew in the water, that filled the pond by, you got it, Anna's house. 
and the owl did not catch the snake, the skunk. He did not. <gasps> Ooh, this is a coyote. This is a coyote out in the dark that stalked the raccoon, the hungry raccoon, that stole the eggs of the great horned owl, that died for the skunk, the shy striped skunk, that caught the snake, the garter snake, that swallowed the frog, the loud bullfrog, that gobbled the beetle, the what? Diving beetle that ate the nymph, the mayfly nymph, that nibbled the algae. What color is the algae? The jade green algae that grew in the water, the deep still water that filled the pond by Anna's house. <gasps> Anna's back, y'all. Look, Anna came back. I am the girl whose name is Anna who heard the coyote one summer night by the deep still water where algae grows, mayflies dart, beetles dive, frogs spring, snakes swim, skunks shuffle, owls swoop, raccoons rummage, and coyotes howl. I am the girl who heard the coyote, looked up from her book, leaned out the window and howled back. Hello, out there across the darkness and out to the pond of deep still water by my house. You see all the animals? You guys see all the different animals? That is the end of the story. But before I close the book, um, I want to show you guys something at the back of the book. The author, Betsy Franco, has some cool facts, and she calls it Facts to Ponder. Isn't that funny? And she has really cool facts in the back of the book about the different animals and things that was in the book. Right? So here's one she talks about algae. Can I read, can I read you guys what algae is? So algae. Green algae are tiny plants that grow and float freely in ponds. Algae come in different forms. Sometimes they look like scum on the top of the pond. Algae are very important because they are at the bottom of the food chain. They get energy from the sun and pass the energy on to whatever eats them. And over here she talks about, here's this, here's this shy striped skunk. And did you guys know that skunks will eat just about anything? And snakes are their favorite treat. Like, what is my favorite treat? I don't know. Like, my favorite treat is maybe avocados. A snack, a skunk's favorite snack is a snake. Did you know that? Well, that is the end of our story. Stay tuned. We're going to go pond dipping. Okay? Welcome back, friends. Claudine and I did some pond dipping, okay? We caught some minnows in a bucket that we're gonna show you up close in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna talk about some pond dipping safety, okay? So pond dipping is very fun, right? You know, you get to see all the animals that's in the water, like the minnows and the tadpoles and the crawdads. What else did you Oh, those beetles from the story, They're, they live in this pond, but we couldn't catch them. They were way too fast. So, one of the rules, one, always go pond dipping with an adult. Do not ever go by yourself. Number two, be careful by the water's edge because it can be slippery. And as you can see, I wore the right type of shoes. I have my water shoes on. And as you can see, those rocks look really slippery. Number three, don't lean too far over in the water because you might fall in and lose your balance. So you might try kneeling. So as you guys can see, I'm sitting on the towel. I brought a towel along with me. Um, so you guys can take a towel. You can use a towel to kneel over instead of, um, I don't know, instead of leaning over. You might want to get on your knees and kneel, but I have my towel. Four, Move away from the edge to examine your finds. So as you can see, I've moved away from the edge and I have my bucket of minnows. Five, don't go in the pond, even if you drop something, okay? Really important, you let the adult that's with you 
go in and get whatever you may have dropped. Six, always wash your hands. Always, always wash your hands with soap and water, okay? After you finish pond dipping. So we talked about some pond safety. I'm gonna show you some of my tools I have with me, okay? I have a bucket. And this is a white bucket. A white bucket or clear, something clear, works better for observing what you've caught, okay? A net, okay? This is a net with a long handle. This is also, this is just a recycled Clorox wipes container. It's white. Use this to observe your whatever you find in the pond. Okay. I have a magnifying lens so I can study what I see up close. Okay. Oh, this is a cool thing. Who knows what this is? This is a turkey baster. Did you know what you can do with a turkey baster? I have a turkey baster and I have an ice tray because I can take my turkey baster I can take water, dump it in my ice tray, and I can fill up the ice tray, each section, with different things, different things from the water. So, turkey base tray is a cool thing to use. And I'm going to dump my water back in my bucket. Also have some plastic spoons, just in case you don't want to touch things that you find. So those are some of the fun things that I have with me. Are you guys ready to see what Claudine and I dipped out, dip, dipped out of the pond? We're going to show you. So this is, we can call, we're going to call this pond in a jar. You guys see the little minnow we caught? You see it? We caught lots of them. I'm going to see if I can get the rest of them in my jar in here, okay? And I also have another little jar. This is just a recycled butter container. And again, it's white. So white containers and clear containers work the best. Let me see if I can get some scoops in here. Oh, here's another one we caught. The other one? Yeah, now we have how many do we have now? We have a big one and we have a little one. You guys, can you guys see it? And so what I'm holding in my hand is just my it's a recycled mayonnaise jar. And I'm using plastic because you can use glass jars, but glass jars can fall and break. If you guys drop this plastic container, it won't hurt you. So there's our little minnows. And they're really cool. And I'm gonna use my magnifying lens to Look closely at it. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, guys, this is really cool. This is really cool to look at this little minnow through a magnifying lens. And another great rule for pond dipping, when you're done looking at all of your animals or whatever you caught from the pond, it is really important to put them back where we got them from, okay? So Claudine and I caught lots of little minnows here. They're really adorable. We caught lots of them, but we're gonna dump them back into the pond. Why do you think we're gonna dump them back? Do you think it's do you think it's a good idea for us to keep them? No. We're gonna dump them back into their natural environment, okay? So we're gonna dump them back. Dump them back real slow. And off they go. And I'm gonna dump the bucket. You guys ready? And say bye to the little minnows. Can you guys see in that bucket? We caught lots of them, right? Say bye to them. We're gonna dump them back. Dump them back slowly. And you can see our bucket is empty now. So that is it for story time and our activities, activities today. Hope you guys enjoyed the story pond circle and enjoyed all the cool things that Claudine and I caught pond dipping for you guys. So hope you guys go visit the pond and don't forget to take all your cool tools. See you next week.